me. <laughs> okay, look, I still got my bed head that kind of looks like my hair did yesterday. And I just woke up, my daddy woke us up and brought donuts because that works with my calorie count. Mm hmm. Anyways, I come in here and look at my detergent. Oh, you gotta see this. Look. Ooh, that is some thick junk. Ooh, ooh, it's deep, thick and deep. And look, it went a little bit below my line. Can y'all see that? I couldn't see the screen because I got the screen facing me so I could see myself. And I, when I don't look at y'all and I look over there, it's because I'm looking at me. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> anyway, so it's supposed to be thick. They said it would gel, so you have to shake it every time you use it. And it seems like the thickest part's right on the top. But it does go deep. Being real thick and stuff. And this does smell real soapy. When you pick up that nail spot of soap, um, smell it. Because that's what it's going to smell like. But, I actually washed two loads of clothes. Because I didn't have no patience. And I needed some clean drawers. You know. You know. So, my stuff did not smell like this. It's just... It's like, it don't smell at all. You know, it's like, just clean, no chemicals. I can't explain it. You'll have to do it. And I promise, my brights look brighter. I don't know. I guess it gets all the residue and chemicals and stuff out from the all small and mighty. It's all small and mighty. You leaving some mighty funky junk on my stuff, okay? So, stirring this up, getting it all broke up, good. And I'm gonna start making my samples. You want a sample you better let me know i'm meeting three girls in hermitage and i'm gonna bring some to church if you want to experience the homemade detergent you better let me know girl okay there was something else i was gonna tell y'all i don't oh if you use a cooler like me i left the top down to let it store overnight because i was afraid my co-workers would toss something in there, you know, they'd be done with the cup and they thought they throw the cup in the cooler because you know that's where we wash dishes. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I uh watch my videos back before I put them all together and edit and uh upload and it appears that my brain tooted. <laughs> Um, I was telling y'all something and then I got sidetracked talking about my co-workers, you know, how that stressing me out. Anyways, um, I forgot to tell y'all that I left my cooler closed for, I did that yesterday afternoon. And when I got home late last night from dinner, um, I popped my cooler and it was still hot in there because coolers are supposed to do that. It says cooler, but if you put hot stuff in there, it's a warmer too. It holds in whatever temperature is in there. So it didn't set up while it was still warm. So I had to leave the top crack once my coworkers went to sleep. Then I wouldn't be afraid they throw something in there. So I cracked the top about 10 o'clock last night. And then about 10 o'clock this morning, it was all jelly. Mm-hmm. Was all chilled. So don't seal it up if it's gonna trap the heat. You need it to chill like some cookies. You wouldn't leave some cookies in the oven with the door shut to chill when they just got cooked in the oven. You know, you know, it made sense. I didn't get it though. I a little bit, a little bit of gas on my brain. It's okay. It's all good. It come out now. Cause I watch myself. I'd be like, dang, I missed that. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna slide this back up in the slot. And now watch this. I'm thinking to start talking about my coworkers again. Unless I piece it in somewhere different. I don't know. I had to see how this works. What's she gonna talk about now? Because you know that's where we wash dishes. Somebody really should train them workers. I don't know what the deal is there. I need to speak to the management. Anyway. Oh, and there was something else. There was something funny I was gonna say. Shoot, it's too early. Mmm. My daddy done woke me up for some donuts. That's like the devil done knocked on my door. Brought me 600 calories. Mmm. Happy morning. Here's some breakfast. Okay. Oh, I know what it was. <laughs> I was cleaning out my closet. Mm. <laughs> Pastor talks about 
if stuff is cluttered and not taken care of and cleaned out it causes like anxiety and unrest and stress and he is correct sometimes my house gets on my nerves and i can't fully rest because i'm looking around like dang i need to put that up Ooh, that's got somebody messed up my dust you know how when you got like a perfect sheet of dust and the kid will go like this is dirty i'll be like don't touch my dust it makes it look dirty you know got like fingerprints in my pretty dust shoot so i was sitting in my room last night looking at all my stacks of stuff my o-rings my coupons and my homeschool books and danny's change his subscriptions and his um vitamins and his socks and his belt and his shoes he lines up on the edge of the bed like it's a closet floor and my laundry basket my doggy's crate because it's too big to be in the kitchen with the big dog it's all, all kind of junk in my bedroom and it's stressing me out so i'm like i'm cleaning this dang closet out i'm gonna shove some of his other stuff in there <laughs> so next time i clean out my closet i'll actually be cleaning my room out now whatever it makes sense to me it will cause me to rest i promise so i want cleaning my closet out and I was throwing out some old stuff, you know, because sometimes I got 60 children. Sometimes we keep their little birthday cards from everybody. And I had like a stack of birthday cards. And it said, Happy birthday, love Aunt Jill. Well, Aunt Jill ain't in the family. I mean, you know, she in my heart, but she ain't in my family no more because of the little, little, little divorces, you know. Shh, shh, it's okay, boo anyway so and i didn't even know which kid it belonged to i didn't keep the envelope i kept the card so i can't be like look this is from your aunt jill they'll be like mama that's a girl card i'm like oh i'm sorry <laughs> it didn't have a name anyway so i got to this one card that said wendy i just splashed Ooh, i'm gonna stink um it said Wendy because you know I try to keep the cards from Danny in my special Danny box but I throw the rest away sorry y'all <laughs> anyway this one said Wendy I was like is that Danny's handwriting it wasn't it was from his mama and daddy I busted that sucker open and it was some wise crack about me being old from 2007 I can't I don't even know how old I was in 2007 75 85, 95, 2005, I was 32. <laughs> you see how long that took? It's because it's early. Hush. When I turned 32, apparently they had given me $20. <laughs> well, thank you. I just got that last night. <laughs> I didn't open that card, I guess. I don't know. I guess I thought they don't like me. No way. I ain't getting no cash. I'm going to shake a card out. Be all embarrassed. Like, dang. I knew they still hated me. Anyway, thank you for my twenty dollars, Nip. Thank you, Larry. Y'all forgot last year. I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, that's all. Look, I'm gonna show you what it looks like now because it's all broke up. See? It's like some some uh, it's like some egg drop soup at the Chinese restaurants like not <laughs> okay y'all want to see me pour it in something you know you do you know you do so i'm gonna use my two cup scoop and i'm gonna give me two cups in my thingy i'm gonna pour it in my funnel in my all small and mighty so miss loreline cloak can pretend she can pretend that she got some all small and mighty because she likes her coupons whatever you just pretend little sister okay and don't forget i mix it with half water this is still diluted this five gallon cooler needs five gallons of water it is diluted okay so i would suggest you do like two cups of this two cups of water two cups of this two cups of water because bottles be shaped funny and it's kind of hard to tell and now I'm gonna fill up some Ocean Spray Ruby Red Grapefruit Juice. The Laura said mess up your estrogen or something. I don't know. Sometimes I can't read good. 
<laughs> my brain just be like wah, 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 like Charlie Brown teacher I don't know I got a disorder or something I don't know it's got to be simple mm -hmm. okay okay you know what I think I might give Laura the ruby red grapefruit juice just to be a smart aleck <laughs> here wash your clothes and jack up your estrogen okay Okay, I did one cup, and I'm gonna do one cup because I think two cups wouldn't have fit because it would have been four cups because it's all I already have, and you know that worked out in my brains, even though it's early, and I was wrong, so I'm gonna go back for a cup. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna do half, half cup, a gunk, super chunky egg drop soup half a cup of water and then I let you see since you can't see inside my all small and mighty I'll let you see inside my arugula grapefruit juice okay here you go see balance I got one hand see it's yellow it's not mellow yellow it's not super chunky mellow yellow mm -mm. Mm -mm. although if you puke mellow yellow it might look like this Oh, a little frothy stomach juice. But this is for Laura. Ocean spray laundry detergent from one day. Hi, Laura Dizzle. Okay, let me know if y'all want a sample because I'm making my batches. I'm gonna go upload this real fast. Y'all better tell me something. Okay, okay. I'll hook you up. Wash your junk. Get all them chemicals out of it. You know, Tabitha, I'm gonna bring you some because you need it, girl. Walk all them. Wash all them socks. Them girls be fighting over socks. And you know they got like chemicals in there from your detergent and stuff. Look, I just walked in front of the window. It's too bright, Jesus. I'm going to let y'all see my rooster. My rooster. My rooster. His name is an omelet. Because when he was a baby, Katie thought it might be a girl. And we would get some omelets. But, mm-mm. Omelet makes his own omelets with the other Chico and... All them other chickens. Okay. Let y'all see omelet. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm back in my room. And I need to tell y'all two things. Two. Juices. Peace. Um. When you add in your stuff in your jug or whatever you're using. Add the soap first. If you go ahead and fill up halfway water and then put your soap in, it's going to be more waterier. 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 Now, I was going to say something. I'm like, let's not talk about diarrhea, okay? Waterier. 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 Whatever. You would rather it be soapy ear. Add the soap first because. When it gets moving around, like I showed you, it dropped down a little bit from my five gallon line because it settles. And when you stir it, air gets in it and it froths up and it rises. So when you pour in it in, the water mixture, it's mixing and stuff and it don't all fit. I don't know, I ain't no scientist and stuff, but you add your soap first and then your water okay and if you read the little ounces on there and you use your heads as um eight ounces is one cup okay like the all small and mighty is 32 ounces mm. i'm like they be having some false advertisement but then i did it the other way mm -hmm. i fixed it it is four cups 32 ounces four cups so two soap two water hey I don't watch Star Trek or else I would be smart and say the saying. Live long and prosper. <sighs> it's getting close to noon. My brain cells kicking in. Okay. Uh something else. Oh, if you want a sample, I'm gonna bring you some, but bring me an empty container. Okay, because I'm using all my junk. You got a milk jug, a juice jug. Don't bring me no carton. I'm gonna look at you like, mm-hmm, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I can wash your recycled carton. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Plastic. Thank you. Okay. Or glass. Because I got a big old pickle jar. Mm -hmm. I put some in there. You can bring me something like that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.
Christy, my bra. I told you. I told you.